And new at four, the San Francisco Board of Supervisors just voted unanimously to regulate the scooters that have flooded the city. ABC 7 News reporter Katie Udis is live at City Hall to tell us what the vote means. Katie. Alma Supervisor Aaron Peskin says the scooter saga could have been avoided. The city felt blindsided when scooter companies rolled out their products before the city could pass regulations. They've kind of behaved like a bunch of spoiled brats. Supervisor Aaron Peskin is scolding the scooter companies that inundated San Francisco sidewalks. He introduced an ordinance in early March, but the scooter companies launched before the regulations made their way through City Hall. Bird and uh, a couple of the other companies have really conducted themselves in a brash and immature manner, and hopefully um, they'll belly up to the bar and we'll work it out and move forward together. Without objection, the ordinance passes unanimously on the first reading. Supervisors voted unanimously Monday to regulate, forwarding Peskin's ordinance to the SFMTA to write rules. Then it'll come back to the supervisors for final vote. Clearing the sidewalks is a major concern, but so are less obvious consumer protections. These permits will come with conditions that individuals' personal uh, information not be shared without their express consent. Oakland City Council member Rebecca Kaplan is trying to prevent sidewalk gridlock and keep a level playing field in her city. All the other businesses that do business in our community have to follow laws and have to pay their taxes. And as new industries innovate, it's not fair to everybody else who's paying taxes and having regulation for them not to be part of that. Both city leaders agree the scooters are a viable transportation solution if regulated. I mean, I have friends that work in the financial district, need to go to a meeting in Soma, and right now they're either work, walking 30 minutes or sitting in an Uber for 20 minutes. And using a scooter or a shared bike, they can get there in five to 10 minutes. Now, Supervisor Peskin told me he'd like to ride one of the scooters. He says they look fun, but he'll wait till they're regulated. Now, the city attorney yesterday did offer out a cease and desist order against several of these companies, Lime Bike, Bird and Spin. He said they were operating illegally. Live in San Francisco, Katie Udis, ABC 7 News.